Hey guys, it's Abby. Welcome back to my channel. So, I know I am a few days late, but I wanted to jump on and share with you guys my goals for the year of 2018. So, I am actually a huge advocate for not setting New Year's resolutions. I think it's a terrible idea because I think you're all going home and you have this great, you know, it's like New Year, New Me, which is fine, don't get me wrong, but I feel like a lot of people set these New Year's resolutions as like gym memberships, you know? You, you have this great game plan and then you never actually follow through and you know you don't do it like four days into the year and then you just give up completely and so I believe in setting goals rather than New Year's resolutions because a goal is something you constantly are working towards rather than it just being like I'm gonna do this thing it's like a goal takes baby steps and I like that idea so um, also just in case I have a I don't have my wedding ring right now um, for, this is totally tan tangential to the video, but I'm going to tell you guys anyway because I keep messing with my fingers. So this is just a plain silver band that I got when I went on a mission trip to Ecuador. Um, <laughs> my wedding ring actually, for our anniversary, my husband, we just recently celebrated our fifth anniversary. And we had a diamond band made to go on top of my engagement ring. And um, some of the prongs were really funny, and so we took it to the jeweler today for her to fix it. And then while we, while she has it, she's also going to bind it to my other ring. So my all three of my rings are going to be together. So I just don't have my ring for like two weeks, and then I'll get it back. But anyway, back to what I was talking about. So I uh, set goals for myself, and you know I might meet that goal in the middle of the year, and I might not. Might not. It might just be something that's like, okay, well I made some progress, and. I just need to keep working on it. So um, I have some money goals because money is something that's been on my mind a lot lately. So I'm going to go ahead and share those with you guys first. So my first goal is uh, my husband and I are wanting to save for a down payment on a house. So um, we actually took the first step to doing that today because we made a joint check savings account because we didn't have one before today. <laughs> yeah, really sad. We didn't have a savings account. So we went to the bank today and we got a savings account. Um, we had been ha we had had everything just in our checking, which I feel like is actually a bad idea for multiple reasons. You don't get interest on a checking account, and like if you have a breach of any kind, it's like it's a lot easier to get to your checking account than it is to get to your savings account. So we were like, yeah, no, bad idea, bad idea. So we finally did that. We finally took care of it, and we moved the vast majority of our um, well, not the vast majority, but more of our finances are now in a savings account than in our checking. But um, that's the first step. But it also takes a lot of actual like dedication and focus on putting money away specifically for that purpose. Um, my husband and I do have a budget, which another goal for this year is to actually stick to that budget a lot better than I have been. Um, and we did have the foresight when we made that budget, is we bu made that budget only on my income. The only thing that comes out of both of our incomes is tithe. Everything else comes out of my income, and so my husband's we just put away. And so that's been nice to have that money every two weeks going, it's going just to be saved, specifically to, now it's going to go to the savings account, but... Anyway, so we are making progress in that direction, but it takes an active, concerted effort to, I've been talking for five minutes already, an active, concerted effort to put money away for that reason. So that's definitely a big goal, and following our budget better. So we loosely follow the Dave Ramsey envelopes and stuff. We've never done Dave Ramsey. It's what our pastor encouraged us to do when we first got married, when we were doing our premarital counseling. And it's worked fairly well for us. We just now what we do is we have a Google spreadsheet so that way we can both edit it and we just keep we just put in our receipts and stuff and we have line items for each for different categories. Like we have, you know, groceries and gas and like my husband takes a, a van pool to school some days and like for our pets and for our rent and our cell phones, like you know, the whole thing. We have it all broken out. So um, but I tend to go over budget, especially in groceries, and so something I really want to do over this next year is be a lot more aware of where my money is going. I'm kind of building on that this next year. I want to be a lot more mindful with my purchases. So I feel like this past year when I was kind of looking at just what I had kind of like been spending my time doing, I guess, I would like see something in a Dollar Tree haul or I'd even go to Dollar Tree and be like, oh, I need to buy some things so I can fill my haul. But then I'd use it for a month or two and then I'd just toss it. So I want to be a lot more aware of what I'm actually spending my money on and be a lot more uh, conscientious with my purchases and be a lot more mindful with my purchases when I make them. 
And also on that same vein, I want to be a lot more minimalistic next year. I was kind of, you know, again, looking at my purchases from 2017 and just kind of thinking about how, like, my mindset throughout the year. And I was very materialistic. And that's really not okay with me um, from a financial standpoint, from a spiritual standpoint. And so I want to be a lot more minimalistic this year. I want to be a lot more aware of what I'm bringing into my home. I want to be a lot more appreciative of what is already in my home and find, like, if I need, if I've, if I have a hole that I need to fill, find some, potentially find something that I already own that will also suit that purpose and also actually get rid of a lot of stuff. I'm not going to set a percentage or anything like that. Um, I declutter on a fairly regular basis. I actually have a bag of stuff that I've needed to take to Goodwill for, like, a really long time and then I have a box over here of things that I've started collecting so I actively declutter kind of continuously throughout the year but I want to make a much more mess vested effort to actually go through and kind of cull down the amount of stuff that I own so next um, I want to take 15 to 20 minutes a day to do something just for myself whether it be planning or crafting or um, another goal is actually to read more um, doing something that I love to do that's very relaxing and that's something that's just for me um, I feel like I'm very go 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 all the time I get up about 5 30 in the morning and generally go to bed between 10 30 and 11 and I feel like I don't stop much during that time my morning starts with uh, about my Bible study and a cup of coffee, but then after that it's like I gotta, you know, put my lunch in my lunch bag, I gotta get ready for work, and then I go to work, and then nine hour, nine, ten hours later I come home and I'm like, okay, well now I need to cook dinner, and now I need to work out, now I need to do the laundry, now I need to do the dishes, now I need to pack my lunch for tomorrow. You know, I never, I don't really, I feel like, spend a lot of time doing things for myself. And so I want to spend more time, of, you know, set aside just a little bit of time every day to do something just for me personally. Um, something else I really want to do, which uh, kind of surprises a lot of people when they realize that I don't know how to do this, since I'm very musically inclined, I don't know how to read music, and I'd really like to learn. <laughs> um, I know that there's a lot of apps and free programs and videos and stuff that I can watch to do that, but I don't know how to read music, and I think that's something I should know how to do. Um, it actually shocked our pianist on Saturday nights because I sing harmony most of the time, and she was just astounded to find out that I just sing it because I hear it, not because I can read it. And then my last goal for the year is I really, I, I work out on a fairly regular basis. I do Zumba, but that's high impact cardio. I don't really do things that are targeted for specific areas of my body, and so I really want to start, uh, I want to find routines that work like my shoulders and my abs and my legs. Like I want to find things that are a lot more specific so I can build overall muscle in addition to just building more endurance. So um, that's all of my goals. Um, it might seem like a lot, but I actually think a lot, of, there's a lot of crossover with a lot of these goals, I think. Um, and one of the reasons I wanted to film this and put this out on YouTube is because I feel like if I have done this and I've put it out there that you guys will help hold me accountable, that I'll feel a lot more committed to actually following through on a lot of these things because I told other people and asked for support. So that is all I have for you guys today, and I will see you in my next video. Bye!